So I can see a few of you are dropping in now, and apologies because there was no sound on. That was my setup, so no one's been able to hear anything. I hope you can see and hear me now. Um, we are going to release the winners of the competitions from last week. Uh, thanks to everyone who took the time to enter. That was that was really good to see. Um, there's been a number of people joining in, and that was what it was all about. We just wanted to make a little bit of a competition through the course of National Apprenticeship Week. And um, thanks to the guys for coming on and helping me do that. And I thought it'd be nice to um, release the winners through a YouTube live. It was supposed to be shot in my shed where I could have taken a live measurement of the, the ZS in particular. But unfortunately, I can't film there tonight because um, my family are busy preparing some secret surprise birthday party for me. I, I imagine it's something pretty spectacular, but we'll see. So I can't record in there, unfortunately. You're going to have to take my word on the, the readings that were, were measured. Um, but thanks to the sponsors who put forward, not the sponsors, the manufacturers who put forward the equipment. Um, so this was all donated into Apprentice one-to-one. -one. There was no request to kind of do it publicly like this. It was just kind of left with me to give out. And I thought it'd be a nice thing to do through um, National Apprenticeship Week. Some of it's been saved up for a while. Some of it came in last minute, which all appreciated. So we've got the, the TIS MFT Pro, you can see in its case behind me there. There's a couple of the ferret Wi-Fi's that have been donated by um, Superrod, which is brilliant. Uh, we've got the Ideal Kit that you can see as well just behind me. Uh, the Loadout Shops provided um, a couple of the VDE hand tools. So that was really nice of them. And we've got some voltage indicators as well. Those haven't arrived yet, so I'm not going to announce the winners of those on this video but i will do as soon as the um come in i need to see exactly what we've got there to know what we are what we are giving out but i will still do it it'll probably just be in a week or so um but yeah thank you again to everyone who entered and um we'll start at the end and work our way back to the beginning so the loadout shop um vde hand tools which was the lovely snips pliers and um screwdrivers um, the question on that one was to do with renewable energy. And there was a lot of people who entered and came up with more than myself and Rick could actually think of. So we've um, gone for the biggest number and pulled those people together. And uh, the winner of that that was drawn by a random number was Charlotte Turl and Paul Kirkpatrick. So I hope I'm pronouncing those names right. But if you get in touch with me on... Um, Instagram or via a message in the comments on this video and we can sort out exchanging details so I can get those sent to you. They're going to be sent direct from the loadout shop, not via myself. So I need to make sure I get your address details and everything. So well done to the people who um, won those ones. If you want to get in touch with me, that would be lovely. I can see people comment in there. Thanks for, thanks for joining in on that as well. Uh, I'm not going to distract myself with replying because uh, this is this is taxing my primitive YouTube abilities enough already. And uh, the prize of the ferret Wi-Fi's, and there was a few people who entered on that, but there was only a couple of correct answers, actually. And um, it's not the answer you might think of. So it was Neil who set that one, and it was to do with the maximum um, value of ZE that you're allowed on a TNCS three-phase supply at 250 amps. And the default kind of response a lot of people have is 0 0.35, which isn't correct. So it was 0 0.2. And the two people who got that right were Joanna Baker and Chris Rees. So you guys have won a ferret Wi-Fi from Superrod. And again, if you get in touch with me, um, however you like, through the messaging system on YouTube or on Instagram, and I can uh, get your details. And they've been sent direct from super odd so thanks to vanessa and malcolm for that one and well done to those two lucky winners because they're incredible i would have quite liked one of those myself um but you know i didn't feel right to enter and then pick myself as a winner so yeah well done jo joanna and chris um the ideal prize so that was a, a bonus question at the end of episode one that i set um a lot of people might not have seen that one because it was right at the very end, but there was a there was a number of um, entries actually, which was nice to see. And it was on my test sheet. What's the maximum value of um, ZS on a? I've forgotten the circuit now, but on a particular circuit. And I was kind of leaning towards the fact that there was an RCD in there. 
So while you would expect to see, um, based on calculation, discounting the, the Earth electrode, um, a much lower value, you can have up to 1,667 ohms. And the winner on that one was Sean the Sparky. I don't know if you're in there, there Sean, but you've won yourself the Ideal Connector Pack and the uh, lockout devices that you can see just over my shoulder there. So if you get in touch with me with your address and um, contact information, I'll get them posted out to you uh, as well as soon as possible. And uh, the star prize, in my eyes, because it's easily the most valuable, and it was the first bit of kit donated in from Steve at TIS. And he's been an absolute legend, actually, with Apprentice one-to-one -one right from the start. He sent loads of stuff in. And uh, none of it had to be done as a public kind of giveaway. It was just to, to help apprentices. He's an absolute legend. So thanks very much to Steve and everybody at um, TIS. And the MFT Pro is a brilliant um, test instrument. I use it myself. It's my tester of choice these days. And again, I'm not paid or sponsored at all by anybody. So that's just personal opinion. Take it or leave it at that. And there was loads of people who entered onto that one, not surprisingly. And uh, there was a few entries that were quite close. And one person actually got to within 0.7 of an ohm. So that's that's a pretty good guess. Um, and I would say if I took that measurement on another day, they could have been absolutely bang on because we know these things aren't strictly set in stone based on the environmental conditions and the supply voltage. And the winner of the TIS MFT Pro was Michael Boys. So I don't know if you are in the chat at the minute. I can't see you, actually, so I don't think you are. A couple of the other winners I can see are in there. So well done, guys, for, for um, winning those prizes. Well done to Michael as well. And he guessed 31.9 ohms. It was actually 32.6. I would have liked to have shown you, but um, I've been booted out my shed, so I can't. I'll get a, a picture of the um, measurement just to verify that, and I'll drop it into another video or an Instagram post or something. But well done to everybody. It was great to see you all enter. I appreciate that those four videos dropping all at the same time is quite a lot of content for people to consume. Um, if we were doing it again, we'd maybe try and condense it into one, one hit. And, uh, you know, you could get your entries in on that because it's, you know, it's a lot of time out of your week to keep watching these things. We got a bit carried away, I think, or I did anyway. Thanks to Neil, Rick and Sam for taking the time out to come and uh, join in with it all. It's massively appreciated. And we've got some more giveaways coming soon. If you don't follow Apprentice One on Instagram, Apprentice One to One on Instagram, go over and do that because we have stuff that people are donating in all of the time. And um, I don't like picking people out, so we tend to put a, a giveaway out for people to have a chance to win stuff. There's been a couple of um, Mega MFTs that we've given away over on there recently. There's a couple more coming soon. We've got hand tools. Dan from Tools Down sent us in some BDE hand tools as well. So we've got those. Um, to give away shortly. So go and um, join in over on there, and uh, we can hopefully put some more gear into Apprentice's hands. And that was all start started by Eddie Clemens. So if you're not following Eddie on Twitter, uh, Instagram, or anywhere else, he's Pegasus Electrical. Um, you know, he's an absolute superstar. So go and check him out. He's the first person who stepped forward with the MET and uh, MFT, sorry. And uh, yeah, so thanks, Eddie, for doing that. Thanks to everyone who's got involved since. And if we can help at all with Apprentice One to One, get in touch anytime. And uh, yeah, otherwise, have a great day. My last few hours in my 30s. I've got to go and get prepped now because I'm recording Monday Club with um, Sam and Nick and a special guest I'm not allowed to reveal. So if you're not watching Monday Club, make sure you go and tune into that. We had uh, an episode out this morning with David Savory. And uh, there's another special guest next week that people won't want to miss, especially if you have an interest in uh, support and help for apprentices without giving anything away. So have a good evening, everybody. Thanks for dropping into this live and uh, catch you all later.